you are all welcome to our today's lesson uh, today that's our lesson three or our third lesson last uh, i think our last meeting that was lesson two we looked at yeah our last lesson was lesson two and we looked at uh, smart contracts sorry nfts metaverse and tied it up with types or categories of cryptocurrencies that was what we looked at and today we'll be looking at introduction to crypto wallets and exchanges so introduction to cryptocurrency wallets and this because for you to be able to actually hold a particular cryptocurrency one or more then you should know what cryptocurrency wallets are what exchanges are and with that knowledge you will be able to navigate your way through the crypto space so today we'll look at crypto wallets in details i think exchanges we'll look at it maybe in detail another time but though we'll touch on it as well but we'll look much into it another time but today our main focus area will be crypto wallets crypto wallets so we're looking at crypto wallets in detail Alright, so crypto introduction to wallets, cryptocurrency wallet. Alright, so crypto wallet, as maybe some of us have heard about it already, crypto wallet. Crypto wallet is a blockchain uh, wallet, or it can also be called blockchain wallet. So a blockchain wallet is a cryptocurrency wallet that allows users to handle or store several cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Internet Computer, Litecoin, Cardano, among others. So that is what a crypto wallet or a blockchain wallet allows a crypto user to do with cryptocurrency so i'm taking it again a blockchain wallet is a cryptocurrency wallet that allows users to handle to handle and store several or many cryptocurrencies so such as so you can store your bitcoin in a crypto wallet your ethereum in a crypto wallet icp in a crypto wallet litecoin in a crypto wallet Cardano in a crypto wallet, Dogecoin, among others, all the over 10,000 cryptocurrencies we have, you can uh, handle or store them in crypto wallets. Alright, so let's go on. So a blockchain wallet makes it simple to transfer money and also swap cryptocurrencies. So a crypto wallet, just like a bank account we have where we are able to transfer monies crypto wallets also makes it possible for you to be able to transfer money or transfer crypto from one account or from one wallet to the other in any part of the world where they use cryptocurrencies and it also allows for swap of cryptocurrencies or swap of currencies so for example you can be holding ethereum you can be holding ethereum and you want to swap it for you want to swap it for let's say uh, cardano so you want to swap it for cardano so what happens is that some of the crypto wallets actually supports the exchange 
or exchanging from one cryptocurrency to the other and uh, this actually makes it simple so you can hold a lot of crypto different cryptocurrencies once you buy one you're able to swap them for other cryptocurrencies and because transactions are cryptographically signed they are very secured so this crypto uh, you know transactions on the blockchain are cryptographically signed and they are very uh, secured meaning that the transactions that are sent cannot be read in plain text by anybody on the blockchain network so once you are not an intended recipient of that transaction then you will not be able to read the contents of it so it's the same technology that applies in crypto wallets so the wallet is accessible from any online device so crypto wallets are accessible from any online device that includes mobile phone devices and and the user's privacy and identification are protected so you are able to securely transact online with your mobile devices with your laptops and your privacy your user, maybe you sent one million dollars to somebody your privacy is protected and uh, nobody will come, come and worry that why have you sent this social amount to this person in this country you cannot be charged for money laundry and the likes as long as it's whatever transaction you are doing is what legal so cryptocurrencies can actually uh, crypto wallets can actually uh, safeguard your privacy and identity or identity so that's another thing we should take note of so crypto wallets crypto wallets protect your private keys crypto wallet protects your private keys and I'll say private keys in simple terms that is the passwords that allow you to send and receive cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin so let's say maybe some of you who have created crypto wallets before you realize that before you are able to send a cryptocurrency from one wallet to another before they send you have to enter a password and that is your private key and these are very important once you misplace your password then that becomes a problem so if you are sending a coin like bitcoin you must need to know your private key that is your password so that you can be able to send it uh, with convenience or with ease without this private key it wouldn't be possible making the transaction so crypto crypt, crypto wallets comes in different types so they come in different types from hardware wallets like the ledger which looks like a usb stick i think i'll show you the image of that to mobile apps like coinbase wallet binance blockchain.info among others which makes using cryptocurrencies as simple as purchasing online with a credit card so with the help of these wallets you are able to uh, transact online easily and conveniently just like you are able to buy stuffs online maybe jumia amazon aliexpress alibaba using your credit card so with these crypto wallets you are able to do the same thing very easy it's not any technical thing so that is one thing we should take note of types of crypto wallets so basically we have two main types of crypto wallets we have two main types
types of crypto wallets so types of crypto wallets. so the first type is what we called hot wallets so we have hot wallets then the second is what we call cold wallets so these are the two types of crypto wallets or two categories of crypto wallets we have we have the hot wallets and the cold wallets so the hot wallets too has subdivisions so under hot wallets we have desktop wallets web wallets uh, mobile wallets so these are the two sorry the, the the subdivisions of hot wallets we have so we have them as desktop wallets web wallets mobile wallets. so any wallet you install on your desktop the desktop of your computer that is uh, under hot wallets and anyone you open on the web maybe go, you go to google chrome firefox or brave then you 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 install a wallet as an extension there or you open it from the browser that becomes a web wallet the mobile wallets are also the wallets that we download from uh, app store or play store so the wallets there for example maybe exodus wallet uh, uh, trust wallet so these are all hot wallets then cold wallets under cold wallets we have paper wallets and these were some of the earliest form of wallets that we had so you see that your address your wallet address and the or uh, a qr code was always printed as a paper down so if somebody wanted to send monies to you to your account then the person will have to scan it from the paper then make transfer to the account that will be receiving it and i think yeah they are still in use today but not so popular like that because now <laughs> everything digital 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 so uh, it's still in operation but not uh, so common like that then under the category of cold wallets we have hard wallets sorry hardware wallets hardware wallets so these are the types of crypto wallets we have we have hot wallets and cold wallets and under hot wallets we have desktop wallets web wallets mobile wallets and under cold wallets we have paper wallets and hardware wallets so we'll look at them in detail so hot wallets hot wallets hot wallets so hot wallets are online wallets that allow for rapid cryptocurrency transfer so that is what hot wallets are so they are online wallets that allow for rapid cryptocurrency transfer they can be found online that's true so hot wallets are always connected to the internet and the cryptocurrency network so hot wallets for you to be able to access them you have to always be connected to the internet and from there you are able to access log in check your balance maybe make transfers swap tokens among others so these wallets are used to send and receive cryptocurrency and they allow you to view how many tokens you have available so uh, these wallets actually allow you to, to to send and receive cryptocurrencies and also allow you to view how many tokens or let's say how many cryptos that are available for you maybe to buy or to uh, swap so there are some important things to note about hot wallets 
so because there are so many and this one we have to pay attention because there are so many wallets with varied designs and purposes it's critical to conduct your study before downloading and utilizing them so when it comes to wallet development wallet developers have different levels of competence dedication to security and privacy and also objectives some may charge fees while others may not for one currency you may need to use a wallet that integrates with your browser and another wallet that is a standalone application all right so what this slide is telling us is that we have a lot of cryptocurrency wallets uh, with different designs and purposes so it is important for you to do your research there's something in crypto blockchain space a, a term which is dyor do your own research so you have to research maybe on a particular wallet you want to install and maybe start transacting with you have to do your research about that wallet and see their objectives their security level and also their privacy level and before you end up downloading it because uh, the wallets we have they have been designed or developed for different purposes and also different level of competences by different developers so definitely some wallets will perform or will work better than others so it is always good to read reviews around these wallets and you should be fine to to go so some may charge fees maybe for you to use their wallet some may charge you but while others may not so we have other reliable ones to that will not charge you anything to create an account there and use so for one currency for one currency you may need to use a wallet that integrates with your browser and another wallet that is a standalone application so depending on the, the type of cryptos you are buying and your strategy for keeping whether short term or long term uh, you may have multiple wallets you can have one wallet as an integration on your browser you can have another wallet that uh, is installed as a desktop application that is a standalone application or you can have a wallet uh, as an app on your mobile device so depending on what you want to do you can have several wallets and you'll be like, hey, why should you have several wallets? Yes, like it all boils down to purpose, what you want to do. As it speaks now, depending on what you want to do, maybe me, for example, I have no less than six wallets, six cryptocurrency wallets, which are used for different uh, activities or different purposes. So it all boils down to what you want to do. Yes. And usually maybe if you are keeping a cryptocurrency for a long time maybe for a long term then it is good to always download that particular cryptocurrency their native wallet or their home wallet so if it's maybe uh, a cardano uh, tokens you are buying to keep for long term then it's good you look for the native wallet of cardano an example is the Uroi wallet or the it or Adalite wallet uh, among others or the dead dollars wallet same applies to any other cryptocurrency you look for their native wallet download and store it there that is where it is but if you are just going to use for short term maybe transaction exchanging for other cryptocurrencies then you can look for other uh, crypto wallets that will support the swapping or uh, conversion from one crypto to the other all right so examples of hot wallets 
So some examples of hot wallets are MetaMask, the MetaMask wallet, we have the Coinbase wallet, Edge wallet, Exodus wallet, uh, among others. So these are some of the most popular. So the MetaMask wallet, the Coinbase wallet, the Edge wallet, Exodus wallet. So the MetaMask wallet is a crypto wallet created for ethereum transactions so it's it is an ethereum blockchain wallet so ethereum based wallet then the edge wallet is designed to accept transactions utilizing all your digital assets so that's the edge wallet and coinbase wallet is for the cryptocurrency exchange coinbase so we have an exchange by name coinbase but they also have their wallet called Coinbase Wallet, so which you can check. So maybe I'll just go online right now, then show you some of these wallets, how they look like, and then uh, we can continue. MetaMask, MetaMask, MetaMask Wallet. So this is how the MetaMask Wallet looks like. MetaMax wallet it has this icon on it can we all see I, I don't know whether it's a it's, it's a fox or it's a dog yes so once you click on it metamask.io that's the URL metamask.io so this is how it looks like if you want to download it and install you just click on download here once you click on download you are able to install the metamax as an extension of chrome yes so, so you can install the metamask here you install it as an extension you install it as an extension on chrome all right so i think i i already have it there so what i'll need to do is once i go to can you see metamask on my screen yes because I installed it on so that's the wallet the metamask wallet which I installed so it's now an extension on my browser my chrome browser so that is the metamask wallet so for me to log into it then I must provide my password which I used when I was creating the wallet and that is how the metamask wallet is so this is a web wallet under hot wallet so we also have the exodus wallet exodus wallet so exodus.com so this is how the exodus wallet their website also looks like so once you want to download the wallet you just click on download so they will ask you whether you are downloading for mobile or desktop if you want a desktop version then click on it here to download then if you want a mobile version so you see we have desktop here then we have mobile version so if you want to download mobile version for exodus wallet what you have to do if you are using an iphone then you click on download on app store then if it's Play Store or uh, Android phone you are using, then you click on Get It On Google Play. That is Play Store. And you'll be able to download the Exodus wallet. All right. So we also have the Coinbase, Coinbase wallet. So Coinbase wallet. So you are able to download... So this is the Coinbase wallet. You are able to download the wallet from the download icon at the top right corner here. Once you click on download, then they also ask you to add to Chrome. That is an extension. So add extension. I click on add extension. So once it is complete, once the extension is complete. The downloading of the extension is complete then so you see the message I have received 
Coinbase wallet extension has been added to Chrome. All right, good. So and we can. So now when I click on the extensions tab here, I will see Coinbase wallet extension. So this is the Coinbase wallet extension, so which is already opened. So they are asking me. So Coinbase wallet extension to get started, create a new wallet or use one you already have. So if I want to create a Coinbase wallet after installing the extension, I just click on create wallet. Then they will ask me of the na my name. So I can say CTEL. So and they ask me whether allow other wallet users to search for the username. Well, maybe I can click on it. Then I submit. I submit. So they are asking me for the recovery phrase. So this recovery. So this is my recovery phrase. They are asking me for. So uh, what I do is I just click. I understand. So but usually what they tell is I save. So back up your wallet. So save these words save these 12 words to a password manager or write down and store in a secure place do not share with what anyone you see that so uh, that is how you actually create the wallet maybe i can say yes i have i have copied it and i understand that if i lose my recovery phrase i will lose all the crypto in my wallet so the crypto phrase or the recovery phrase is very important. Once you lose it, it's like losing your password to your mobile money. Once you lose it, you then your money is, is lost. Maybe mobile money, they can reset, but here they can reset for you. So you will lose it forever. So now to verify that you have saved your seed phrase by clicking on the first and the last 12 word. So the first word is pumpkin. So the first word is pumpkin. So I click on pumpkin. And the last word is valley. So I click on valley. Then I submit. So now they will ask me for a password. So they are asking me for a password. So I will enter my password I'll confirm the password again all right so they have matched and what do I do I just click on submit so my wallet is now created all right so that's how you click on my browser click on the wallet extension and now it is opened so so this is my coinbase wallet i don't know whether you can all see it can you all see it yeah, we can see it all right okay yes so basically this is how we create a wallet uh, this is an extension chrome extension so this is a coinbase wallet we just created and once you finish creating it you can send send crypto send nfts you can receive you can swap a crypto uh, and you can also transfer from another wallet so you can transfer the crypto from one wallet to the other yes so this so this is a uh, this is the wallet we have created all right so uh, it's always straightforward to do and once you follow it keenly you'll be able to create the wallet as well. 
So I've just showed you this example, MetaMask. So it's the same process for the MetaMask wallet, the Edge, the Edge wallet, the Exodus wallet. I don't know whether they have an extension, the web extension. Yes. All right. So let's look at cold wallet. So we have looked at hot wallets. Now let's look at cold wallet. What is a cold wallet? So cold wallets, a cold wallet also known as a hardware wallet or cold storage is a physical device that allows you to store your Bitcoin fully or your cryptocurrency fully offline. So that is what a cold wallet does. So and that was where we we saw the paper wallet. So paper once is paper definitely is offline. When we say offline, it means a device that is not connected to the internet is offline. So a cold wallet also known as a hardware wallet or cold storage is a physical device that allows you to store your Bitcoin or cryptocurrency fully offline. And many of these cold wallets resemble USB disk or USB sticks. So these cold wallets or hardware wallets resemble USB sticks. So taking your holdings offline protects them from hacking and online threats. But it also means you risk losing them. That is very true. Once you hold your cryptocurrency in a cold wallet, that is their offline, that is a secure way because no hacker can be able to hack online and, and, and steal it because it, it, it's just like a pen drive that is in your room, which is not connected to the internet. But one disadvantage too is that just like we misplace our pen drives here and there, maybe let's say you are holding one million dollars worth of Bitcoin in that cold wallet and you place it in your room and maybe a mouse comes to take your dark uh, cold storage away and enters its hole with it so your one million dollars <laughs> is lost forever unless you are able to trace the mouse and 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 and, and pick that uh, hardware wallet from it which just looks like a US or maybe you decide to carry it out then maybe your packet has a hole or a perforation then you as you are moving in town then it, it drops and you are not able to locate it again you have lost your money to forever but once you are able to keep it safe that is one of the best ways to store your cryptocurrencies in a hardware wallet so this type of storage has no backup so Hard, cold wallets have no backup. If you lose your wallet, you lose access to your investments. So let's take note of that. So hardware wallets are not wallets you should be carrying around. Just look for a place. Just like you keep your certificates and other documents. Make sure you get a, a, a convenient place to also keep it safe. Once you finish transacting, then you take it back there to keep it safe lock it because if you misplace it you have lost all your investment so cold wallets can sometimes cost upwards of two hundred dollars so you can get a cold wallet to buy at two hundred dollars and and even some are cheaper though there are definitely cheaper options so we have some cheaper ones to which cost less than two hundred dollars which will be able to get one and store your cryptos there as well. All right, so these are some examples of cold wallets. So they go by the name. We have the Ledger Nano X, the Trezor Model T, the Cool Wallet Pro, the Keep Pay, the Elipal Titan, the Safe Pal S1, the Secu X v20 keystone pro among others so they are many so they are many but this is how they look like so the hardware wallet just looks like a pen drive where you connect to your laptop then connect 
to the to the, to the blockchain or crypto uh, site then make your transactions then once you are done you just pick it off or take it off all right okay so finally why are crypto wallets important why are crypto wallets important so crypto wallets unlike traditional wallets so crypto wallets unlike traditional wallets do not technically store your cryptocurrency so your assets are stored on the blockchain but only a private key can access them and we already explained in simple terms that the private key we can liken it to be your password so your keys prove that you control your digital currency that is your password prove that you control your digital currency and allow you to conduct transactions you lose access to your money if you lose your private keys so maybe you created a crypto wallet and maybe you have like you invested like 20,000 CDs into buying maybe uh, ICP tokens or Bitcoin then maybe per adventure maybe something happened uh, unfortunately you didn't write your password down then later you you heard that and maybe also then the 10,000 CDs was able to buy five bitcoins and maybe today you hear that one bitcoin is one million dollars and you quickly run to your account to withdraw and cash out but you get there you try your password one two three four five hundred times you are not getting it there's nothing that can be done it means you have lost your monies forever yes there are some uh, what do you call it uh, wallet sites that allow you to use the forgot password uh, option but once they do that and you can also remember some key questions you were asked security questions you were asked then they'll be like you are not the person and so therefore you lose your assets so the final point there is says that's why it is critical to safeguard your wallet so you just have to hold your wallet protect your wallet and the credentials from the reach of third parties or middle men so that at the end of the day you are able to actually have control over your cryptocurrencies or your tokens and keep them safely so once you have your password secured and your recovery freeze your wallet can be active for over 10 20 30 years with your money is there i think one wallet i created since 2017 early 2017 is still is still in operation till today i have the password and everything i even have some cryptos in there and uh, so it all boils down to being able to keep your passwords very well and with that you are cool to go all right so this brings us to the end of our today's lesson